Mesti tambah. So, hello and welcome to you. Love, prosperity, guidance, power, illumination, enlightenment. Today is a very auspicious day, as you know. First of all, it's Monday, aka Moon Day. It's a new moon, and Chiron is in Aries, yeah, and we're also in the month of Aries. So it's all about the wounded self, going within, dealing with anything to do with your inner child, yeah. Um, you may have felt some intense energy over the past week, subconscious memories to do with the past, but. As we're coming into, well, we're already in the age of Aquarius, but this solar eclipse signifies death to the old ways, to the old earth. And those that are not willing to realign and do the shadow work, and those who are afraid of the darkness, they cannot move into the new light. Your soul will be eviscerated from collective consciousness. Yeah, it's all about the divine, it's all about light, and it's all about love. But also it's about the symbiosis, the harmonization of dark and light. Hence, it's all about setting intentions today. And I um, just wanted to ask, have you been noticing the events that have been happening macrocosmically? Yeah, did you see the Baltimore Bridge collapse? Yeah, you saw that? Yeah, so basically, um, like a ship crashed into the Baltimore Bridge. Unfortunately, you know, many, uh, um, I'm sure a few people died and stuff, but it's all symbolic, it's all symbolism. It's all symbolism of death to rise like the Phoenix, because Pluto, in Aquarius, Pluto is the Phoenix. Pluto deals with death on the highest density of the material phenomena of the universe. That's what Pluto is all about. Death, rebirth, hence why Pluto is linked with the Scorpio, which we're all about the Phoenix. Yeah. Saturn, the keeper of time, as we know, yeah. Pluto is like the father of Saturn. Yeah, or the mother, the parent of Saturn. It does the job of Saturn, but with the responsibility of the whole entire universe, while Saturn deals with more our galaxy. Yeah. So, when we talk about the macrocosm, yeah, all of that links to the microcosm because we are the measure of all things. Yeah, so everything that we're seeing happening outside of us is also happening in our internal world. Yeah, so there's two different dimensional polarizing shifts in the time space, yeah due to one's activity in the space-time, two different realities. So if you notice, you may notice with some of your friends or your family that life is not going too well for them. Yeah? If it's not bills or a whole, month, a, whole, a whole lot of trauma and pain and you know, um, they're going through a lot of problems in their life and then you see a lot of people, things are going really well for them. You know, spirit, business, um, personal projects, things come into fruition, things come into full circle, yeah? And this is all about the shadow work. The previous year, the seven, was about the unveiling of things. It was all about showing you aspects of yourself which you may not have been aware of. And now, we're in collection, we're in the harvesting. We are reaping what we sow in the year of the eight. Eight is a very financially abundant number, yeah? so. If you're on the reverse side of that, if things are not manifesting in a positive way for you, well, that's because you need to do that work. And it's only going to get worse. And to be honest with you, it's going to be too late if you think that you're just going to start now. Yeah? So, everybody here knows themselves and have been doing the work, and so you're going to reap good fruit. You're going to reap good fruit. Yeah? Um, do you know that today NASA has a plan to release three rockets into the solar eclipse? 
Yeah, can you imagine? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. And what that's all about, yeah? So the name of the rockets is called APEP. Yeah, A-P-E-P. APEP is an ancient Egyptian um, deity of darkness and destruction and chaos. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the shape, it's in the form of a serpent. As we know, the Kundalini is the sacred serpent, which turns into the macrocosmic dra dragon. Yeah, and then you've got the opposite, the polarizing lower vibrational snake. Yeah, which you must chop the head off. And the sun god Ra defeated Apep. Yeah, and you see, and as we know, yeah, Ra, solar eclipse, sun, golden age. Yeah, so this is the desperation of these people, can't even call them people, these demons, yeah, that are trying to cling on to power, because it's all about power for them. They, they, don't, they don't care about love, they will sell their mothers and daughters, yeah, they will sell their lives just for power and money and monetary sustenance, which doesn't sustain them because it's something external and doesn't constitute any internal self-love. Yeah, so let's laugh and look at their desperate attempts because they're only going to get more desperate. Um, you know, in 2012, the Pope, yeah, and the grand people at the top, um, you know, who could see it coming, they accepted it and they stepped down and they've been creating their underground bunkers and so going underground because they know that the solar rays. The, you know, the sun is consciousness in motion and the electromagnetic, it's like a macrocosmic auric field, yeah, sending messages to all of us and obviously we all know about the Fibonacci sequence, the natural numerical pattern that exists within nature, yeah, so our bodies are like plants, the more that you align yourself like a plant, yeah, with the Fibonacci sequence, the more you are able to receive the cosmic messages from the sun, yeah? So, again, eat what you're eating, but just be aligned, be aligned, yeah? And, um, what was I gonna say now? Um, yeah, so, also there's a, a soul within, soul without, so you have the sun outside of you, but you also have Amun Ra, the hidden sun, within you. So you want to be illuminated, you want to be the Christ, be the crown, be God within, know God within. It's not about belief anymore, it's about knowing, yeah? And, um, you know, we've got to do this work. So, I also wanted to read this statement about Sirius. All of the planets travel through space, through fields of low and high density consciousness, yeah, like the seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter, so that souls can incarnate in lower or higher consciousness dependent on what lessons the soul needs to learn. These beings in control in whatever time are supposed to be in control to create these environments for soul learning. So we can't even look at these demonic-esque entities like the Vatican, etc. as anything indifferent because we are all one. But you just want to look at them as lessons. They impose restrictions on us for us to realize through the mortality of this third dimension of existence, yeah, um, that we are God, yeah, and appreciate the powers that we have. And as we know, the principle of correspondence as above, so below, when things are below and you can't move the way that you want to move, yeah, when you can move how you want to move, you, it, it just gives you more thanks that, like, you know, getting sick, you appreciate your health, etc. And when the space and time they are in changes to lower or higher, it's time for them to say goodbye till the next time the earth passes through that field and is again suited to their consciousness level. And as you know, we're on the cusp or past the cusp of lower density consciousness into higher density consciousness 
through Pluto in Aquarius for the next 20 years into 2044, in which we have the next. Well, there's going to be a solar eclipse in between then, um, but that's going to be the next um, solar eclipse. And as you know, do you know about the Sirius star? Anyone know about this? Yeah? The Sirius, so the Dogon tribe, the Dogon tribe for thousands of years celebrated every year, for thousands and thousands of years, celebrated the Sirius star because they knew that that's the center of our solar system. Yeah? The further away we move from Sirius, the lower the density field of consciousness. Yeah? The closer we get to Sirius, the higher. So as you can tell, yeah, we're much more closer to Sirius than we have been in the Piscean Age, you know, in which things were distorted. Yeah, if we were talking like this, let's say even 50 years ago, they'll come through the mental health people, stick something in you, yeah, and you're finished. But now they, the, the energies don't constitute that, it doesn't support that. Their time is up, their time is up, it's over, goodbye. Yeah, it's done. Their, their time is finished. Absolutely finished. Yeah, so us as advanced souls being here in this time, yeah, you know, give thanks to all of you for who you are. Yeah, because you're doing the work of God quite literally in motion. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you wanted to add about intentions? Mm, well, we should all know because we're about the new Thank you.